You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. The IT world used to be simpler. You only had to secure and manage environments that you controlled. Then came new technologies and new ways to work. Now, employees, apps, and networks are everywhere. This means poor visibility, security gaps, and added risk. That's why Cloudflare created the first-ever connectivity cloud. Visit cloudflare.com to protect your business everywhere you do business. The word is network telescope. Spelled network for a system of electronic endpoints interconnected by telecommunications equipment in order to transmit or receive information and telescope for an instrument designed to make distant objects appear nearer. Definition. Network observation systems designed to monitor globally unreachable but unused internet address space, or the deep web, in order to study a wide range of interesting internet phenomena. Example sentence. Monitoring unexpected traffic arriving at a network telescope might provide early warning for serious network security events. Origin and context. Network telescopes are also known as Internet Background Radiation Monitors and Packet Telescopes. And according to a 2010 research paper, Internet Background Radiation Revisited, because there are no legitimate hosts in these unused IP blocks, packets arriving must be the result of warm propagation, DDoS attacks, network misconfiguration, or other annoying or nefarious activity that's usually hidden in the noise of normal internet traffic. Bill Cheswick and Steve Bellavan originally conceived the idea in 1998. Since then, various researchers have sought to extend the idea. The most prolific is probably the Center for Applied Internet Data Analysis, or CADA. Nerd reference. Bill Cheswick and Steve Bellavan are famous in old guy cybersecurity circles for writing one of the first cybersecurity books, Firewalls and Internet Security, Repelling the Wily Hacker. I had a dog-eared copy on my desk back in the day when I was a young Unix system administrator. At the Vintage Computer Federation East 9.1 conference in 2015, Cheswick described how he and Bellavan created the first network telescope. We built the first packet telescope, which basically meant we said, hey world, network 12 is here. Network 12 is AT&T's internet address. We got it back in 1998 by asking for it. We said, can we have this Class A address? Class A address probably has a market value of a billion dollars now, something like that. We said, oh, we need it. And they said, oh, you're a big company. You get one. Sure, we're giving them out to every big company. And, you know, and so Net 12 came to us, and we couldn't use it. It was too big. So we had this big useless address, and I said, let's gather all the traffic that comes to this big unused network and watch it and see what it is. It's a packet telescope. And Steve Bellavan put up some monitoring and so on, and we got about 25 megabytes a day of random packets, <coughs> which basically were the death screams of various machines around the internet that were shouting uh, packets at that network. This September 18th and 19th in Denver, a tight community of leading experts is gathering to tackle the toughest cybersecurity challenges we face. It's happening at MWISE, the unique conference built by practitioners for practitioners. Brought to you by Mandiant, now part of Google Cloud, MWISE features one-to-one -one access with industry experts and fresh insights into the topics that matter most, right now, to frontline practitioners. Register early and save at mwise.io slash cyberwire. 
That's mwise.io forward slash cyberwire. 